Let me, let me thank uh, Dr. Collins and Dr. Adams, uh, not only for being here today, but for their years of public service. Gentlemen, thank you very much. Uh, Senator Murray Curry covered a lot of the territory uh, that I was interested in, but I want to ask uh, two questions. Uh, number one, the taxpayers of our country have already spent billions of dollars, many billions of dollars, on research and development for this new vaccine. Uh, and it seems to me with that type of development and with the fact that we have some 90 million Americans today who are uninsured or underinsured, it seems clear to me, and I think a number of other senators, that we must make that vaccine free of charge to all people if we want to maximize the number of people who will, in fact, get it, and given the fact that we have already paid for it. This is something I'm going to be working very hard on. Other senators will as well. Will you join us in the effort to make sure that this vaccine will be distributed free of charge to all Americans? Senator Sanders, this is uh, Surgeon General Vice Admiral Adams here. Thank you for bringing that up, and I will give you a very direct answer. Yes, as Surgeon General of the United States, I promise you we will use every federal tool that we have to make sure that cost is not an obstacle for people receiving what will perhaps be the most sure. important and highly anticipated vaccine of our lives. And I share that 100%. Okay, I thank you both for that very definitive statement. Is that the posture of the administration right now? Is the administration saying that that vaccine will be distributed free of charge to all Americans? Uh, I asked that question right before I came in to make sure because I feel strongly about this. The most honest answer I can give you is to the extent that we can ensure that from a federal perspective, yes. As you know, uh, there are things we can do in the executive branch. There are things that you all can do um, through the legislative branch. But every tool that we have uh, we will bring to bear to make sure that uh, cost is not an obstacle. Good. Well, thank you very much for that answer, uh, gentlemen. Let me ask, uh, raise uh, another issue, and it's an issue that Senator Murray touched on. Uh, you know, recently we had a president, uh, the president of the United States, uh, telling us that this vaccine will be ready to go or, or develop before Election Day, not a week after the Election Day, not two weeks after, not a month after, but before Election Day because of his great leadership and that it would have taken President Obama years more to uh, develop that process. What we need is assurance from scientists and doctors like yourself and from others in the administration to make it clear that this president is not speaking for the scientists of this country that you believe, as I believe, and I think every member of Congress believes, we need to get that vaccine out to the American people as quickly as possible, whether it is a week after Election Day or six months after Election Day or before Election Day. But what is most important is that that vaccine is safe, is safe and ready to go. Will you join me? And I know this is difficult, given the political moment and the nature of that administration. But will you enjoy join me and many others in telling the president of the United States to get out of science and let the scientists do their job in moving as rapidly as possible in getting a vac safe vaccine out to the American people? Senator, I am a scientist. I've had the privilege of serving as the NIH director for 11 years. I can't say strongly enough uh, that the decisions about how this vaccine is going to be evaluated and assessed is going to be based on science. And I know I speak for my colleagues in the government and certainly for the scientific community broadly, that that can be the only basis upon which this decision is made. Otherwise, the public would not be expected uh, to trust us. So that right. will be the only measure. Will it be done uh, by a certain date? I could not possibly tell you right now because I don't know what's going to happen right. in the coming months. I do have cautious optimism that by the end of 2020, at least one of these vaccines will have emerged and turned out to be safe and effective, but even that is a guess. 
and certainly to try to predict whether it happens on a particular week before or after a particular date in early November is well beyond anything that any scientist right now could tell you and be confident that they know what they're saying. So yes, science and science alone will be the way in which this decision is made. Uh, otherwise, I'll have no part of it. Senator, I, I know that um, some people still do care about what the Surgeon General has to say, so I can... <laughs> Jerome, there, I care what you have to say. Please go. I want the American people to hear me say this. There will be no shortcuts. This vaccine will be safe. It will be effective <laughs> or it won't get moved along. And when a vaccine is either approved or authorized by the FDA, I and my family will be in line to get it. Well, thank you, gentlemen. I think that's the kind of answer that the American people are looking toward hearing. Thank you very much.